A roster, bitch? You blind motherfucker. Tetronica Logos right there. The SPT 32 grad. Best sniper ever made, hands down. Got a fight here. You buck? In the flesh. <laughs> Looking at you's making my wallet wet. Yo, I'm putting all I got against you. Mm, no lack in confidence, I say. And I'll show you why. This arm's military issue. Titanium bones, carbon fiber. Could punch a hole through a tank if I wanted. So, we got a deal? Was that piss I smell dripping down your leg? This rifle? Grad, as you said. Where'd you get it? A little souvenir from when I served. Why? I'm just curious. Heard that was a limited series. Only 300 manufactured KGB issue. Well, well. I see I got a gun enthusiast on my hands. But we ain't here to talk iron. We're here to break bones and crack chrome. So, you accept my offer or not? I don't, no. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. I'm laying out all I got. Toss in the sniper. That is, unless you're scared. Of you? I don't give a fuck about you. Done. Rifle's on the table. Follow me. You ready? Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? <laughs> Look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Rip that tongue out. Come on. Hand over the rifle. Over my rotten meat. Get her! Here we go! He's fucking with our implants! It's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out! The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. 
We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always, Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. See? You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how do you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Not going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So Peter we... gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. 
Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A Rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Take it for a spin if you like. I still can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but... Moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just... See that? That is one hell of a storm! Looking... bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there.
All right, I'm in position. I have you in range. I'm in position. I have you in range. There's a sniper perched yeah, in the tower. Keep your I eyes peeled. See I close. see several heavy hitters. Just wait. Nothing to see just yet. Wait till they give him a taste of the torch. Try to melt him down. leading to the main structure. Knowing them, they have something important in there. You might even gain access to the security system. Okay, you're near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. Uh... 
Pen Am. Found Sol, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? Uh, it's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Got a girl here. Dead. Disemboweled. And not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking Raffins. Solus filth! There's no line they won't cross! None! Goddamn cigar. Y your cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh. Oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Uh-huh. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar.
That storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! Uh, I need to catch my breath. Uh, uh, just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just saw the town of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. Left in a hurry. Biotechnica made this good offer. Hey, it worked! We have lights! Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burned. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Gotta agree with Pen M. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so... Seen plenty. Arasaka's not Biotechnica. The difference... Is not in the ammo. That's always the same. Know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited, and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, 
I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Two haboobs. Yeah. Two haboobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget and what it's like. Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. What a day. <sighs> Think I'm ready to turn in. Yeah, it's been a long day. We deserve a good, long sleep. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Uh, nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but... When a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. I tried to get a... Can you check it? Actually, you know what? Check the few... If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else, Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death.
see what I see. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? If you... To be... I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, customer satisfaction is job one. Your wish is our command. I would settle for a soft pillow. Might prove hard to come by. We'll see. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. And B, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Mm, nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Saul doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Hang on. Thought you were headed back to the Alda Caldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas... you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. But you're in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. OK, 
Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. How you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. You all bury the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, they're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. <laughs>